Now, we need to subtract a multiple of 100, so a number that ends in two zeros, from a three-digit number. First, we have 999 minus 200. Because we're subtracting a multiple of 100, we're not subtracting any tens or ones, so our tens and ones digit will stay the same. So, we start with nine hundreds, and we're taking two hundreds away, which means that in our answer, we have seven hundreds, and then, because our tens and ones stay the same, we get 799. Now, 562 minus 400. The six in our tens and two in our ones will stay the same, and five minus four is one, so our answer is 162. Now 375 minus 300. So here we start with 300, but we're taking all three of those hundreds away. So that means our answer is just 75. We don't need to write 075 because we don't need zeros on the start of whole numbers. The number 75 already tells us that we don't have any hundreds. And now 857 minus 500. So we start with 8 hundreds, we're taking 5 away, so that leaves us with 3 as our hundreds digit, and the 5 in our tens and 7 in our ones stay the same, because we're not subtracting any tens or ones, so we get 357. So let's take a closer look at these questions. For this first one, we start with 999, so 9 hundreds, 9 tens, and 9 ones. Subtracting 200 means we can take two of these hundreds away, but you can see that our tens and ones have stayed the same, but now we have seven hundreds because nine minus two is seven. Then we started with 562, and we were subtracting 400. So if we take away four of our hundreds, we only have 100 in our answer. Then with 375 minus 300, we're taking away all three of our hundreds, and that leaves us with just the seven tens and five ones, so with 75. And then we had 857 minus 500, so that gave us 357. We can also show the subtraction using place value counters. So if we're subtracting a multiple of 100, we're only taking away 100 counters. If we take away 2, that leaves us with 7 as our hundreds digit. Here we have 562, but if we take away 4 of our hundreds counters, that leaves us with just 1 hundreds counter. And of course our tens and ones counters, our tens and ones digits, have stayed the same. Then 375 minus 300 just means that we're taking away all of our hundreds counters, so that gives us 75. And then we started with 857, and we can subtract 5 of these hundreds to leave us with 357.